Hello, I'm John Ray from Fast Signs in Broomfield, Colorado. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to make a sign from this frame from our customer. This is a beautiful frame uh, provided by my customer. It has a beautiful patina to it. I love the shape on this. I'm a, actually a big fan of having the frame as part of the design in a sign. And the requirements for making this is one thing, it needs to be double sided, which means you can see graphics from this side and this side. The other thing, the insert that is for, that is going to make up the sign, we want the fasteners, how it's attached to the frame, to be as hidden as possible. When I do things like this, I always make a template. I use a lot of templates in my work and I make it out of MDF, medium density fiberboard. The nice thing about making a template is, is that you can finesse it to just the shape you want it to be. And so that's what we're going to do now. Let's get to it. Okay, we're working on the template for the frame here, and like a lot of when you're adding on to existing construction, you find out uh, the nuances and things that are not square, and that's the case with this one. Okay, um, the frame actually goes out like this, and it's not perfectly symmetrical. In other words, if I cut it down the middle and flop it over, it would not be exactly the same. And so it's a good thing we're making a template to exactly the shape of this. So how I'm making the template, I'm doing a few different things. First, I just put the frame on, a, on top of a piece of MDF, and I take a pencil and draw around it to find what the shape is. I cut that shape out using the bandsaw, the Powermatic bandsaw. I get that close and then just come back with some uh, sanders, in case I'm using a belt sand, sander, and I get it to it's just perfectly right next to the line. That's where I am now. So now we have it just the same shape as the opening of the frame, but we actually want to bring it in a little bit. We got to fasten it to the frame, and how we're going to do that is we're going to have some um, some metal pins that actually go into the frame and into the sign. Right now, I'm just going to take a square and I'm going to draw in a little bit to make that finished shape. So I have a square here and I got it set to 3 eighths of an inch and I'm just bringing it around. This is my cut line. This is where I need to cut. Now, on the curves it won't be perfect. I'm actually going to come back and do that. I'm going to actually make some dots, three-eighths of an inch in from the edge all the way around the curve, and I'll redraw the curve to be what I want it to be. From there, I'm going to go back to the bandsaw, and I'm going to freehand it through there and come back with a sander and get the final shape. That's going to be my template. That's what I'm going to use for cut all the different pieces to this sign. The template is made. We're getting ready to route out the individual pieces for the sign, for the insert to the sign. This gives you an idea of what we're doing here. This is going to be an inner core, it's half inch MDO, medium density overlay plywood. Then we're going to have an aluminum face to it on each side of it. And each of those aluminum faces is going to have a vinyl print with the customer's logo on it. So how we would use a template to route out, I actually have this one ready to go right now. On the bottom of here is the template that we made that's uh, just to the size we need it to be. On top of it is a piece of what's called Max Metal, which is an aluminum product that we're going to use for this sign face. Okay, so now we're going to route out this sign face using this template. Uh, there are some safety features. I got one of them on right now, my safety glasses. I'm also going to put on a safety mask. This is routing, it's dirty stuff. We got to take all the precautions. Now on my router, this is actually what's called um, a bearing here and what it does is it uses this to roll around and this is how it um, uses the template to follow it perfectly and then up above that is the cutter and that will cut the actual substrate to the perfect position of the template.
Okay, this is actually staying on here by double stick tape. I have the template double stick tape to the work table and I had the aluminum, the max metal, stuck by double stick tape from there. So now I'm going to pull it up. It's pretty th sticky stuff, but let's see if we can get it off. There we go. Yeah, the situation. There we go. Perfect to the template. We're going to make all three pieces, the two aluminum faces and the middle MDO using this template. And then we'll be ready to put everything together. The sign is complete. Okay, we got metal pins in several places. It's going into the sign and into the frame. That's how everything's being held in place. Um, it, was been a, it was a great project for us. We got a lot more things coming up. We got some dimensional signs, some hand carved signs, some hand sculpting, and some glazing. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching.